I don't think you have any idea how fast I'm here. Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, I'll be showing you how to play P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Span in 2024. If you learned something new from this video, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe. To start off with, you can pretty much cycle any of your three elixir cards or zap. You do want to make a play pretty early with this deck because it is quite nice in single elixir. Today we have the Archer's Evo and Little Prince version, but you can always play Electro Wizard over Little Prince or Magic Archer over Archers if you don't have them leveled up or unlocked. I think this guy might be running E Golem. You can definitely cycle your Batarang, but you do have to be careful in certain matchups, like if they have a P.E.K.K.A. or a Bowler. Okay, I'll go for the Bridge P.E.K.K.A. here. He has no E-Dragon. E-Dragon is his main counter. Also no Phoenix. This could be kind of good. Kind of pop the ability. Yeah, this E-Golem. Oh, how's that still pulling the Guardian? We can Archers. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. Little Prince is on tower. I'll go for the Ghost as well. We're also going to get more Elixir out of this E-Golem. We should be okay. Uh, we can actually kite this with the Battle Ram. One of the best tips for this deck is just to use your Battle Ram on defense a lot. You can get some really nice trades out of it when you kite stuff or even just tank something like a mini P.E.K.K.A. with it. Pretty good start. And we do already have the Archer's Evolution. Which is really helpful. Once we hit 10 elixir, we can just go in for the P.E.K.K.A. in the back. Reason being is that if he tries to spam us, we have Evo Archers, so we're going to be fine either way. He's down some elixir as well. Okay, so it's going to be kind of hard to break through this eagle, and we'll see what we can do though. I'll set up with the Little Prince, and we can also apply some pressure. Definitely don't want to go all same lane in this matchup. If you do, then you're going to just get overwhelmed by healers and everything. Come on, Battle Ram. <laughs> okay, nice pencil connection. Kind of ability. This healer might cause us some trouble. We can't really poison right now because of it. Hopefully Evo Archers do something, but I know he has Tornado ready. I'll try to kite this stuff. Oh, let's go. And Bandit is on tower. See, against Eagle, you don't want to really play P.E.K.K.A. on defense. You want to use it more on offense and just... DPS down the eagle and with archers or little prince and then try to kite the supporting units. Good game. We got a match. I'll cycle the archers. It's always good to play the archers a lot early on to get to the evos. Once you get to evo archers you can usually make a nice split lane P.E.K.K.A. push and just get them down the middle to snipe whatever your opponent plays for defense. This guy probably has Lava Hound seeing the mega minion. Pretty much no other deck runs it. Lava Hound can go either way. You have pretty good pressure, but it can be tough to defend. I'll cycle the Little Prince. Hopefully he doesn't try to balloon or anything right now because we have no great air defense. I'll kite these Skeleton Dragons. I think he's going to have to Barbarians either way. <laughs> we can just go for the P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge. What is he going to do? He has no guards. He probably has Barbarians, but we could pop this ability. Yeah, there they are. He might be in pretty big trouble. I could be wrong, but what is he going to do? Oh, just barely in time. It's fine. We're still up quite a bit of damage now. We can archers. We're going to get the Evo archers next. I'll ghost early. We'll see if he wants to do anything about this. He has no guards, no barbs. We can battle around this side. He's low elixir. You just really have to keep track of your opponent's cycle in this type of matchup. Oh, nice to force out the fire, but we can band it too, and he has nothing. <laughs> he has barbs, but no elixir for them. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys might be kind of concerned that you have to keep track of an opponent's entire cycle. But I will tell you, don't keep track of your opponent's entire cycle. Just keep track of the important cards. Like, for me right now, I'm mainly keeping track of his... Barbarians and guards. You don't have to keep track of every little thing. Don't have any great play to make here. It's not even good to play P.E.K.K.A. very much in this matchup. You just want to mainly play your cheap pressure cards. We can ability just to tank for the Mega Minion. Gonna poison all of this. Might be in a little bit of trouble, but I think Evo Archers should be able to take care of this pretty quickly. 
One balloon hit. But we're okay. Still need some damage though. Here on the left side. He may try to Lava Hound again, so I'll go for the Archers, and if he does, we can just go for a Battle Ram in front, and whatever else we need. Okay, I'll go in for the Battle Ram and Little Prince, just so the Little Prince gets kind of launched forward. Zap. Oh, beautiful connection. Ever since the HP buff Battle Ram is so nice now, it always gets the extra connection. I think we won either way, Poison will take the tower, even if he takes ours. Yeah, very nice game against Lava Hound. We're up against Mukbait. It's always good to see a Mega Knight player when you have P.E.K.K.A. I think a lot of you started playing P.E.K.K.A. just to counter Mega Knight. He probably has the Mega Knight Minor spam deck. It'll be easy to counter the Mega Knight, but might be a bit tough to stop the swarm cards. Oh, that's a Goblin Drill. We should be okay. Gonna take just a bit of damage from the Spear Goblins. We're gonna have to be a bit careful with our Ghost. But even against Goblin Drill, I still like to cycle it in the back sometimes just to apply pressure because we have a few other things for Drill if we really need them. Is he not gonna do anything? We can Ability. Don't know what he's doing. Okay, there's the big fella. He has to respond to our ghost, though. Or maybe not. Okay. I'll go for the P.E.K.K.A. down low. Just to allow our right side tower to also shoot the Mega Knight. P.E.K.K.A. will die here, but I don't care too much. We have to zap. Pretty good start. Okay, we can't stop that. <laughs> Maybe I should not have zapped, but I don't trust 1 HP Inferno Dragons. Oh, we're going to take so much damage. Okay, I'm not scared though. We can go for the pencil and now he doesn't have Elixir for too much. I don't think this is going to do too well for him. Little Prince should clean it all up. We can band it too. Hopefully it gets in front. Okay, perfect. We can ghost at 3. He has nothing. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Okay, we have our zap. We can evo archers, hopefully they kill the wall breakers. Oh no. Okay, well we're still up in damage. At least. Oh man, he's going all in. I'll go for the ghost. Oh nice evo archer. We're fine. Don't want to do anything with this because he could just Mega Knight, so I'll go for the P.E.K.K.A. all the way in the back. It's a bit tougher to get through an Inferno Dragon without e in this deck. But we do still have Zap to reset, at least. Hopefully Mega Knight doesn't get anywhere close to our tower. It shouldn't. Okay, we can Zap. Skellies are alive still, but I'd rather take a bit of Skeleton Tickles instead of Wall Breakers to the tower. We have our ghost back. Oh no, we're so far away from Zap. We have to let that connect. Wait a minute, we're actually pretty much tied right now. I don't like this too much. Gonna ability. Okay, really good ability. We can peck it in front. Little Prince shouldn't die. We can also pencil with this. What is he gonna do to stop it without Mega Knight? Oh, smart defensive drill, I guess. We can band it. Try to get a sneaky connection. We could maybe get a second ability. Oh no, just barely not. I'll evo archers, he can't really kill them too well. Have to zap. Man, this guy's a menace. <laughs> this guy's spamming non-stop. But he's actually winning. No, we're, we're winning, but just by a little bit. Okay, we need a good P.E.K.K.A. push here. These spam cards are kind of messing us up right now. I'll pencil, just to force him to play something. Pretty bad arrows for him. We can zap this all away. Sacrificial wall breakers, I guess. We need some damage, though. We can go for a second P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> he might be in trouble now. Oh, he might be in pretty big trouble now. I think. 
He should be in trouble. Now there's no way he stops this, right? Pencil? What is he gonna do? Oh yeah, that's on tower. I think it's game. Okay, a little bit close, but nice win. We're up against one of the biggest menaces of top ladder. At least I'm pretty sure this is the guy. Oh yeah, there's the giant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he runs giant graveyard. We can P.E.K.K.A. right into this. going to be a pretty nice trade. We do have poison too for the graveyard. I much prefer poison right now and P.E.K.K.A. bridge spam over fireball because poison does fully kill little prince. Just going to go for the zap here. P.E.K.K.A. should be pretty healthy for a counter push. I don't want to go for anything yet. Yeah, perfect. We can just go for the battle ram on this side now. He is going to have to ability. There it is. P.E.K.K.A. should pretty much kill the bowler. Not too bad. I'll go for the ghost on top of this too. Sometimes it's better to over defend a little bit just to have a healthier counter push. Just one bowler shot. Not too bad. I'll go for the split archers. This matchup won't be too good for us because the bowler is going to make it pretty tricky. We're going to have to have some really nice split lane pressure. You can't really go only in one lane in this matchup. Otherwise, bowler just kills everything. Interesting giant. We can just P.E.K.K.A. again. I don't know why he keeps on giving us a free P.E.K.K.A. But I told you guys, this guy's a menace, man. He's playing very gentleman-like right now compared to what he normally does. <laughs> he always goes for like giant graveyard first play or something crazy. <laughs> Yeah, minions will kind of kill our P.E.K.K.A., but we still have something left. I'll ghost the back. We have our Evo Archers now, which could be pretty nice. I'll just Battle Ram. I know he's probably going to bowler onto it, but we'll see. Yeah, there it is. Not going to be too good for us, but we could still make a good situation with a nice P.E.K.K.A. push. Battle Ram might get some damage, too. Okay, so he's definitely going to try to go in for the giant graveyard. I don't think we even have to poison because we do have our evolved archers. Yeah, there it is. We can go for the evo archers like this and they should snipe the graveyard. Really good positioning for the evo archers so your opponent can't really spell them down. Oh no, battle room. Man, what just happened? How do you get so much damage? Look at our push though. Wait, we can just P.E.K.K.A. the bridge. What does he actually have? Oh, look at the Evo Archers. Oh my gosh. Defensive Graveyard. We can go for the Poison. Imagine if we had Fireball right now. This would be no damage, but I think this should be some nice chip at least. If not a whole P.E.K.K.A. Oh yeah, there's the P.E.K.K.A. One more, one more. Okay. It's not over though. We still need some damage. Hopefully he bowlers on this side and then we can get a Battle Ramp connection. Okay. Won't be too much damage, but still going to be nice. Gonna P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. might mostly die here, but still worth it. Okay, actually pretty nice archers. Man, still one hit. I'll battle ram this side, force him to get a bowler down. We can zap this. No ability for him. He might be dead. I think he's dead. He has nothing. Yeah, really easy win. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.